In this video, I'll be giving you a brief overview of SAP Cloud Platform Integration, also known as Skippy, and how it enables LiveArea's fast-track B2B Commerce Accelerator to provide quick integration with many systems and services, and also allows development of custom integrations specific to our client projects. One challenge that's common to every e-commerce project is, how do we get that data over to here and get this data over to there? Whether it's importing products, synchronizing digital assets, or integrating customer behavior data with marketing or CRM tools, moving data around is a fact of life. That's where Skippy comes in. Skippy is SAP's platform for building integrations between independent systems, whether that's cloud to cloud or cloud to on-premise. So let's take a quick tour of what Skippy looks like and see how we use it in FastTrack. The first thing we see when we log into our Skippy tenant is a catalog of all the pre-existing integrations that are available, either from SAP or from third-party vendors. So based on the requirements for a given project, there may either be a pre-existing integration we can use or a starting point to build something custom. For instance, as I described in a previous video, in FastTrack, we integrate out of the box with Google Analytics to associate user behavior with specific marketing campaigns. To do that, we use Google Analytics integration with SAP Marketing Cloud. And if we click in here, we see the details of this integration package. We have a description that tells us what it does at a high level, we have other data about its package ID and so forth, and we see the artifacts that it generates. These are basically the things that this integration can produce. Now, I'm going to skip showing you how we instantiate this in our project because I've already done it, but we can just skip to the next step and see how it works. The next step of working with Skippy is the design phase. Here's where we configure the integrations for a project. You can see here that we're using a couple of integrations for the Hearthstone Restaurant Supply demo site. First, let's take a look at the Google Analytics one I mentioned earlier. We can click into this and view its artifacts again. And then let's take a look at the one called Query Analytics Data from Google Analytics. And when this opens up, what we see here is the integration flow. I'm not going to go into all the details here, except to point out that you can easily visualize the data flow that defines the process. It's a set of scripting steps where data flows from one node to the next, and each node's operation is defined by a function in a Groovy script. This particular flow is for Google Analytics queries, but you can imagine that you could create a custom flow for virtually any service by just writing a few script functions that do the communication, and then adapting them to run as nodes in the integration flow. So now let's take a look at a more complicated integration, the one for SAP Commerce with SAP Marketing Cloud. First, we can see that this one has more artifacts. It does more things. Let's look at the integration flow that replicates the product catalog from SAP Commerce into SAP Marketing. Now, we immediately notice that this integration flow is quite a bit more complicated than the Google Analytics one. Here we have SAP Commerce. Here we have SAP Commerce starting off the flow with a call to one endpoint, which kicks off a whole series of sequential and parallel steps. These operations map the different pieces of relevant product data and categorization into an aggregation to be consumed by SAP Marketing. Let's take a look at the product names mapping to see how that happens. In this screen, we see visually how parts of one data structure, the product from SAP Commerce, are converted to fill in corresponding fields in a structure for SAP Marketing. So again, this is a built-in integration for SAP Commerce and SAP Marketing, but there's nothing particularly special about it. The data flow-based approach of Skippy allows you to build simple or complex integrations according to the requirements of any project. Finally, let's take a look at monitoring. This is where we go to see exactly what integrations have been deployed, where their endpoints are, and any information associated with their execution. For instance, if I go into Manage Integration Content, and then check out my Google Analytics data integration, I can then click Monitor Message Processing and see the activity of this integration over whatever time period I'm interested in. So we can see here that it runs periodically throughout the day, and in this case, it completed successfully, and it also links back to the artifact so we can inspect the configuration of this particular flow and deal with any problems that happen with it. And at a high level, that's all there is to it. SAP Cloud Platform Integration provides LiveArea's FastTrack with a capable, customizable platform on which to build integrations between all kinds of systems and services. If you'd like to try the live demo of our Hearthstone Restaurant Supply example store built on FastTrack, head to FastTrack.LiveArea.CX.com. 
And if you want to learn more about Fast Track as a product or Live Area's perspective on B2B commerce in general, click the banner at the top of that page and check out our other videos.